Hola chicos, in this video we're going to talk about adjetivos posesivos or possessive adjectives. So if you're intimidated by that, don't be. It's really simple. We're going to go through it. Now would be a really good time, however, to take out your study guide packet and make sure you have it. What, what learning target we're going to be working on is 2.7. I can use possessive adjectives, mimis, tutus, etc. Okay? So, what is a possessive adjective? A possessive adjective is the way you say my or your or his or her. What it is not is the way you say mine or yours. Okay? What, we'll see what that looks like. So, first, if you flip over to the second page, you have super important grammar stuff. Make sure you're filling out this chart as we go. So we know that we can divide all of our grammar stuff into that basic T-chart, right? Some teachers call it a six-pack. What is going to happen on that T-chart is usually we can conjugate a verb depending on who's doing the action or who's verbing. So if I have tener, I know in the yo box it's yo tango, right? Well, this time we're actually going to do it not on who's doing the action, but on who's owning something. So what does that look like? We know me and mis. So I could say mi familia es grande. Or I could say mis hermanos son graciosos. So if it's singular me, if it's plural, it's mis. And we know tu and tus, same thing. Singular and plural versions. What we have to remember about this one is that there is no accent. This is the difference between you and yours, okay? The third one we've hinted around, some of you have picked up on it, and that is su and sus. So that's his, or her, or usted's, okay? So I could say maybe, um, if I didn't want to say my mother's dog, because I would have to say el perro de mi mamá, and we knew I was already talking about my mother, I could say su perro es simpatico. So this is his, her, or usted's, okay? Now, for our, we're going to say nuestro, nuestra, nuestros, or nuestras. And for y'alls, it's going to look somewhat similar. Vuestro, vuestra, vuestros, vuestras. So what does this mean for us? Well, on your sheet, we know that nosotros and vosotros are extra special. And you might have picked up on this already. Is that for the uh, left, for the other possessive adjectives, we don't change it for gender. So if it's my um, my cat is a girl, I'm going to say mi gata. My cat is a boy, I'm going to say mi gato. But the me is the me is the me. That doesn't change. But if I want to say our cat, that's a boy, I would say nuestro gato. And if I wanted to say our cat, who's a girl, I would say nuestra gata. Now, this one can get complicated. Why do we say nuestra gata instead of plural version? Because nosotros is plural. Well, it's important to remember that these are possessive adjectives. An adjective modifies or describes a noun. In this case, I'm describing the cat. I'm saying that the cat is ours. So it needs to have concordancia with just the cat. Okay? Not the people who own it. And we'll practice more so that becomes clear. So, the important thing is to remember is that for these two, these are special because they have concordancia with gender and number. So, you need to write that in the box on your study guide, okay? And what do they have in concordancia with? With whatever the item is that's being owned, okay? And then the last one is actually awesome because it's a duplicate of the singular version. Su and sus. So, I could say their dog, su perro, or I could say their dogs, sus perros, doesn't matter. I'm just making sure I have that agreement in number with whatever's being owned. And so that's why I put it here in question marks, concordancia. Yes, we do have concordancia, but you have to remember what do we have concordancia with? And it's always going to be with the item that's being owned, okay? Or possessed. So let's see a couple of these in action. Here we have sus padres son altos. So we've got the plural form of sus because we have plural padres. And this possessive adjective is describing padres. So it needs to be sus. Now this could be his parents. It could be her parents. It could be usted's parents. It could be their parents. It could be ustedes' parents. All right? 
but that would all depend on the context of a conversation. Nuestra familia. Familia is singular and feminine, so nuestra has to be singular and feminine. Mis hermanos. Hermanos is plural, so I need to make mis plural. Vuestros gatitos son preciosos. Y'all's cats are precious. Okay? It's kind of fun to say. So again, gatitos is masculine and plural, so vuestros needs to be masculine and plural as well. Okay? So those are some examples in action, and then I'll have you do some exercises to kind of keep practicing that. All right? Good luck. I'll see you in class.